Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Book Talk's most popular books. We're going to be ranking them. And as someone who's been in the Book Talk space since 2020, I've seen quite a bit and it's going to be fun. Before we get into what we'll be ranking by, be sure to follow me on Storygraph and Goodreads at Dietitian EMK. But let's get into it. So I feel very strong about my book opinions. These are all opinions are my own. If you like any of these books or dislike any of these books, to each their own. This is just kind of my thoughts. So our top best ranking of a book can get is wipe my memory so i can read it again this is a book that was so good i literally wish that i would be able to experience it again for the first time i loved it so much i cannot stop talking about this book wow our next category step down is going to be comfort read this is a book that felt good to read i enjoyed it maybe it wasn't like phenomenal incredible but we had a great time reading it next category down was i was entertained kind of has it stated like we had a good time was it anything crazy probably not but we were entertained it was fun our next category down from that is going to be mediocre is being generous these are books that i'm like oh i don't really have that many problems with it but it wasn't anything spectacular but mediocre feels generous our next category down from that will be excuse me this was a book where it starts to get a little bit iffy we're getting a little scary it's kind of like what is happening here and yeah it just made you kind of as you're reading you're like what excuse me and our last category is going to be literal jail these are books that were very questionable and deserve jail time so without further ado all right let's begin we're gonna keep this spoiler free so you see we have our nice little lineup of books today these are some of the most popular book talk books i have read there are plenty more like this video if you would like a part two to this let's get into it our first contender ugly love by colleen hoover i will note i don't support colleen hoover because she is problematic google's free we're not going to talk about that much today but being problematic will get you a step down so don't be problematic folks ugly love was is a romance about what even happened this was a romance set up as a casual friends with benefits situation and based off of solely the plot and some of the quotes and if you read this you know what quotes i'm talking about this book deserves jail time the romance is not cute the main leads are not enjoyable and when reading this i was like what girls stand up stand up so this will be going in our literal jail our first one in literal in jail let's move on our next book is people meet me on vacation by emily henry this is another romance and this is about two friends who met in college and over time became best friends it's a classic friends to lovers situation and it's probably the first book that i think emily henry gained a lot of traction with that really shut off her career i'm going to give this one i was entertained this is controversial i feel because this is her lowest rated book but it was fun we had a good time was anything crazy i wouldn't say so but it was fun our next book is twisted love this is part of the twisted series you might have seen by anna huang this is another romance lots of romance going on twisted love is the first book of the series i will note based off my ranking you kind of might guess where it falls compared to the others it had some interesting twists to it the romance was interesting i like the main characters better in the books where they're not the main characters and they're side characters we're gonna put this one in mediocre as being generous and i truly feel that way it was 
fine. I think I gave this book three stars and it was kind of like, what? What is going on? But it was fine. Our next book is A Court of Throne of Roses by Sarah J. Moss. I will know I also don't support Sarah because of her problematic actions. Google is free. This is the first book of the Akotar series. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it's a fantasy romance, romanticy. We follow a girl who is taking care of her family and enters into the world of Fae. It was a little bit slow in my opinion. I wouldn't think it was anything incredible or crazy. I did like the trials. That was exciting. But it took me a long time to get into it, so we're going to get we're going to put it in this mediocre category just cuz it took so long to get into. Like once it got going near the end and there was exciting things, it was like, okay, okay. It's just we took quite a long while to get there. Our next one's Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. This is a very popular dark romance on Book Talk. It's kind of a stalker romance, and there's a lot of twists and turns, and it's very graphic and there is a lot of controversy around this book and after reading it i felt like i had to go to church and i'm not religious so that just kind of shows you where that's at we're gonna put this in literal jail because there are some debatable non-consensual things involved megan from weirdo book club does an amazing dive into this book on YouTube, so definitely go check out her review if you want to be spoiled. It was not for me, not for me. Our next book is Shatter Me. It's the first book of the Shatter Me series. I think there are six total right now by Tahere Mafi. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And this is a, another romance fantasy about a girl who starts in isolation and she's kind of like, what am I doing here? found out she has powers. Is that a spoiler? Been around for a while. You gotta know she has powers. And it's a very dystopian world. Honestly, I haven't read this book in a while, but it was entertaining. So we're gonna put an I was entertained section. I didn't think it was anything crazy, but it was interesting. Love a strong female character. Our next book is The Cruel Prince. This is the first book of the Cruel Prince series, another romanticy book with some enemies to lovers in it and about this human girl who has to live among fairies and has probably one of my favorite girl boss female characters in it. I'm putting this in our first one to go into wipe my memory so I can read it again. It was so good. The world building is incredible. Honestly, I like this book mostly for Jude, the female main character. She was lovely. I hope she has does great things. I wish I could read it again. Our next one is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is Colleen Hoover's second appearance in our little ranking video. It Ends With Us was actually my first book that I've read by her. It is labeled as a romance, and I don't think it's a romance, which might be controversial. I think it's a female empowerment book, but that's me. I'm not gonna say what the main point of it is because it's be a main a spoiler, but I actually enjoyed this book. There's a lot of critique around like some of the plot points, journals, if you know what I'm talking about, like the shop. Was it the most creative? No. Was it kind of cringy? Yes. I was entertained. And we'll also know, I think I like this book because of its main purpose, which you'll know if you read the acknowledgements at the end of it, like obviously read the book first, unless you want to be spoiled, but I don't read it for the romance. I don't think the romance is good, but I liked it. Our next book is A Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. This is another romance. It's a uh, kind of a workplace romance. People might say as like enemies lovers is you don't have enemies in the workplace. It's just a weird relationship or a weird start to a relationship. You're not enemies, but there's like some fake dating involved and it's just like a classic little cute romance. This was kind of in the start of my book talk exposure. So I feel like my standards were a little bit lower 
I enjoyed it. I didn't have a bad time. So we're going to put this in comfort read. I haven't read this one in a while though. Might have to do a reread. Should I do a video rereading books from the start of when I got into back into the reading space and online because my standards has clearly changed up as I've read books that I read like two years ago. And I'm like, did I really rank it that high? Mm. Our next book is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. This is a romance, a STEM romance, women in STEM, and a very fun book. I don't love the cover. I know we're not ranking off the cover, but I don't love this cover but we'll move on. But I'm gonna put this in comfort read. Allie Hazelwood has a formula to her books. This is, I don't think this is a spoiler, but she has a formula and she also loves the STEM girlies. I feel seen. I love her for that. This was a fun book to read. Some of the parts are cringy, but you know, we can look past it. <laughs> the next book is actually this, I put it in one, the Mindfuck series. There are technically five little like short stories. I put it all in one just because honestly, I see it all as one book by S.T. Abbey. This follows a girl seeking revenge on people that have wronged her during her childhood. And it's a serial killer ex FBI agent romance where the FBI agent is investigating her but doesn't know it's her. I love this book. This is 100% of wipe my memory so I can read it again. I think I read this series in one night and I stayed up till like 3 a.m. reading it because I was literally like, I can't stop reading. It's so good. This is for the criminal mind girlies who love a little romance. Our next book is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This is a book about another romance. So much romance. Is this all romance? Oh my gosh, there's romance in all of this. Book talk loves its romance, or at least my book talk initial feed or what feed I saw or was seeing loves romance. I love romance. I really like Archer's voice because there's representation of deaf individuals in ASL. It's a very kind of cute, heartwarming romance of someone kind of overcoming these obstacles, someone else who is going through a lot and just looking for peace. I thought it was cute. I had fun. I wasn't blown away by it. The romance was, I think, it was fine to me. I also love drama. I'm a big drama person. I don't th I didn't think this really needed that much drama in it, but we're gonna put it in I was entertained. We had fun. Our next one is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. Also is a kind of a controversial read, I would say. It's part of the Dreamland Billionaire series. Kind of think like Disney World but not. It follows brothers, books about the first brother who have to kind of accomplish different things to earn their bargain of their grandfather's will. And this is between one of the like park designers and one of the brothers of romance. I just love theme parks. I think that's fun. Also, it's nice when men have money. Good. There's Back in the day, they used to be providers, so maybe that's just appealing to me there. Men used to go to war right now a lot. Anywho, this was a fun book. I haven't read it in a while. I feel like this is a series I want to reread at some point, but it was fun. I love the female main character. She was so cute and bubbly, and I was like, should I be nicer? Maybe. But we're gonna put it in comfort read. This was fun. Some things I haven't read in a while, guys, but it was a fun read. Our next book is Normal People by Sally Rooney. I feel like you either love this book or you hate this book. And I'm gonna fall into the, not hate, but frustration. This is not a spoiler because you'll find it out within the first page. She does not use quotation marks. So you really have to pay attention if it's a thought or someone talking which like to each their own, to each their own, everything's intentional. There's probably a point behind it. I'm just someone who I read to escape. And if I have to think about like really concentrate on what is happening, like, is this a thought? Is, are they saying this out loud? That's too much for my brain already. 
Also, normal people is incredibly, we're putting an excuse me, because honestly, the quotation marks really, really was not appealing to me. This is a sad book. It's a romance, kind of, but it's sad. And I, I enjoy sad books, but this was not for me. I think they made a show or a movie about it. People love this book. It's just, it was like a stressful, sad romance to me. Some people are into that. Maybe it was realistic, I don't know. There's a lot of mental illness representation, which is great, but it was, I don't know. It was something. This next one, I ranked a lot higher than I thought I did. I gave this one four stars and then I just reread my review to like refresh. I'd probably give it a two at looking back, but I always stick by my initial reviews or my initial ratings. This is another romance. It's a high school romance. It's, there were some interesting iffy things that were going on. I felt like this would have been better if they were in college. It felt a little bit uncomfy at times. We're gonna put this in excuse me. Past me is probably like, what? But it's coming back to me and some of the decisions were questionable. It felt illegal to read at times. I'm like, I should not be reading this. This is uncomfortable. Our next one, How Does It Feel by Janine O'Reilly. Janine, I think. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. This rose up in book talk like last year or so. This one girl, I forgot her username. It really popped off because of her reaction to it. This is a fantasy story. There's a lot of interesting world building. There's a lot of magic, which is fun. The twists were crazy. Honestly, this is going in the top category solely for the twists because I remember being stunned. I was like, I pride myself in being able to guess plot twists for the most part. Color me shocked. I'm not gonna say anything about the second one because we're not there yet. We're not, we're not talking about the second one this one. The first one, I was like, what is happening? Also, it was so dark at times. I'm like, what is happening? Anyhow, our last one is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Another TikTok sweetheart. This is the like grumpy ex kind of sunshine. City girl meets rural, scruffy boy. It was fine. I didn't think it was anything incredible, but it was entertaining. So we're gonna put it in, I was entertained. Wow. We got some representation everywhere. Exciting. These are my current rankings. I really don't wanna go into spoilers because that's not the purpose of this. This is just kind of my thoughts and my opinions of where we're at. So thanks for watching today, guys. Comment below if you agree or disagree with any of these. I'm sure you disagree. There's these a lot of these are very popular and hot books. So that's okay if we don't agree. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you want a part two. There are so many books, so many book talk books out there, and I've read a lot of them. So we can definitely do some more rankings. Make sure to like this video, it helps me a lot. And be sure to subscribe if you like this video and want to see more like this. And if you do, turn on that bell icon so you don't miss any videos from yours truly. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, guys. This was fun. I love ranking books. I also love being extremely opinionated and judgmental. And this is a great outlet for that. If you like to be extremely opinionated and judgmental, let's hang out. This is great. We're having a great time. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.